Hi everyone, welcome back to Transformers Toys for Kids. This week I'm changing it up a little bit and we're going to look at some VTech transforming toys. You see we've got this scorpion, a gorilla, and a velociraptor. And I think they're all pretty easy to transform, or so says the box. They all take about one step to go from vehicle to beast or animal mode, and then maybe a couple steps to transform them the other way. And I think the difference between these and the Transformers brand is that they have some lights and sounds. So it says 30 or more lights and sounds that they come with. And so these are kind of the more basic ones, but I think his eyes light up, and then this part of the motorcycle lights up, and then with this gorilla, this little LCD screen here, it changes depending whether he's in his gorilla or he's in his car mode. I'm excited to see how these work, so let's unbox them and check them out. All three toys are unboxed and ready to go, and they are a lot of fun. So I think I'm gonna start with the Scorpion, just go right down the line. Scorpion, Gorilla, Velociraptor. Let's get to it. Starting with the Scorpion, there's so much to like about these toys. First things first, you can turn on the lights and sounds all the way full or just on low or off. That's what I have it in now. I'm going to turn on full so the microphone picks it up. And then the lights and sounds change depending what form it's in and it makes the transforming sound when you go back and forth between the two modes. This is the button that makes the lights and sounds on this one. And there's 30 or more of those sounds, can't go through them all. So to get it transformed, first thing we have to push the tail down, then we'll flip the claws back and rotate the legs around. It will make a transforming sound when I do that. all it takes to get it into its vehicle mode and it rolls really really well and like I said the sounds are different in vehicle mode so push the button again that's an awesome toy and it's not done yet the cool thing is it has a one step transformation back into its scorpion mode so let's check that out As you can see, I turned the lights and sounds off for that last one, and that's a nice option to have. I love the transformation. It's just like a scorpion getting ready to strike. And the wheels on the bottom in scorpion mode actually allow it to roll a little bit as he moves along looking for its prey. All right, let's move on to the gorilla. The big gorilla's lights and sounds button is located on the back of its head to adjust, so we need to turn it all the way on. His mouth can be moved up and down. You can see his eyes are looking around. And this changes into a car driver when we transform him into car mode. Let's hear some more. Of... <laughs> oh, he's already doing it. Let's hear some more of his sounds. And then if you let it sit for long enough, it will automatically turn the lights off to conserve battery. Now I gave that about 10, 15 seconds, so that's all it takes for it to turn off, which is nice in case you forget it conserves the battery for you. He has this other really cool feature, which on the back, if you push this down, he'll do kind of a chest slam. So let's see what that looks like. So he doesn't fully hit his chest, but that's another fun play feature to have. All right, let's get him transformed into his vehicle mode. First step, we need to push his head back. Then we need to arms all the way out and rotate them up. You can see he's getting ready. Oh, well, there he transformed into his car driver. Push these in. Squeeze and rotate the back tires around like this. Not hard at all. And look, he's in this really cool, really good at rolling. 
race car. Check that out. I love how that little LCD screen changes with whatever mode he's in. Let's hear some of the lights and sounds. Hang on tight. Right, to transform him back they say just do the opposite so flip his tires back all the way back get his arms unattached I think that should trigger that to change not yet arms down there it goes it's going back into his gorilla mode how cool is that I love that that screen changes he's got so many different parts Let's get him transformed with the sound off and see just how easy it is. So head back, arms straight out and rotate them up, pull them together, squeeze, and then the back tires come in. Look how easy that was. And I'll bet it'll be in the car driver mode if I turn it back on. So let's see, oh, right back there. Let's do it. That is awesome. Finally, let's take a look at the Velociraptor. She does have this button that can trigger the lights and sounds and they'll time out like they do with the other two. So let's push this button. Let's roll, we're moving out. Let's ride. 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 Let's So you can see her little tail even pops out too. That's awesome. And you can move the arm, no, can you? Can you move, yeah, you can move the arms independently from the legs. All right, let's trigger the lights and sounds in this mode. To transform her back, we lift the front legs forward like this, and then push, squeeze and push the tail in. She rolls really well, just like the other two. I love that they all roll really well, which makes sense, but you don't always see Transformers brand toys that roll as well as these do. I am very impressed with these VTech transforming toys. And their cost is just right. I think this one was about $8.50. Then we've got $12. And this one was on sale for $14. Now, if you think about it, this is $10 for this little bumblebee. It's fun. It's a great toy. But you're going for a known character. Look at the size difference between these two toys. And this one is a few bucks cheaper. Has lights and sounds. I don't know. I really like the value of these VTech toys. I hope you enjoyed checking out a different type of toy today. Be sure to tune back in every week for more Transformers Toys videos.